Hey guys, I uh, mentioned previously in my last video, I think that I was leaving California and coming back to Australia, moving back to Australia while well, I'm, I'm home now. Um, I wanted to do screencasting while I was on the road, while I was traveling, but um, wasn't just wasn't going to happen. So uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm just going to do a quick update and and just show. You. I I just started a, a, a new build. Or I put together a new build rather for my BSD stuff. Um, and I, I decided to build a little mini ITX uh, box for my uh, for BSD. I'm not going to pull it apart to to kind of show you what's in there, but um, this is so the hardware is a, a ROG Strix um, Z390i motherboard, uh, a Core i7 9700, and the uh, video card there is a 1660 Ti. Um, I wanted to get an RTX 2080, but uh, the case is tiny. So it wouldn't fit. So I had to go with this. It's still a fairly recent card. I think it's it's quite new. Um, I had a couple of issues with um, getting FreeBSD installed on this um, hardware. One was that um, there was a a microcode uh, error. There was a, a CPU error when I tried to boot into it. So I had to actually flash the BIOS immediately um, before I could actually do anything. Um, it looks like there is, um, I know with, with Linux, there's a package called Intel Microcode that's supposed to be kind of a software solution to that. Um, and I think FreeBSD has this, I think this is kind of an equivalent that, I, I don't know if it, if it solves that problem without flashing the BIOS, but uh, I, I'm not sure, I'm not really sure to be honest, but I, um, anyway, flashing the BIOS is a persistent solution, so I just, I did that and it works. Um, I'm not sure if that's just something that we're going to have to do with newest, uh, newer Intel motherboards. Um, anyway, got that working. But then there was a, another issue with the NVIDIA, which is that because that's a recent card, and the NVIDIA driver on, um, on FreeBSD is quite out of date. Uh, it's like th version 390. It, um, it didn't work. So thankfully, um, and I know that NVIDIA has a bad reputation with OpenBSD guys. Uh, sorry, with, uh, with open source guys. Um, people prefer AMD, but you know, at least NVIDIA provides a free BSD driver. Uh, you know, you got to give them credit for that. And I've always liked NVIDIA for that reason that they actually have, uh, you know, uh, they have a driver for free BSD on their, on their website. So, so anyway, I, I ended up installing uh, version 430 from the website and uh, and works perfectly. So um, yeah, so the hardware, I haven't had any issues with any of this hardware except for the wireless device, which is an AC adapter, doesn't work. Um, it's not supported, but I don't really use wireless anyway uh, for my desktop builds. I just, um, I use uh, Ethernet. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna, gonna start doing some more of this uh, some more screencasting for IBSD. I just uh, I've just been una unable to do it while I'm on the road. Um, but yeah, just it's fun building um, building more uh, building bo uh, free BSD uh, BSD boxes with recent hardware. You know, I, I kind of think um, BSD has a reputation for for old archaic hardware, and a lot of the BSD gurus like to use slightly older ThinkPads and so on. Um, but you know, there's no reason why you can't um, you can't have a, a modern system running running a great operating system. So yeah, thanks guys.